One of the world's most notorious gang the Hells Angels is muscling up and expanding under a new national boss, who has opened a city chapter in Melbourne to match its Mongol rivals. Veteran Angel Luke Maloney has been elevated to national president. Maloney has been a key member within the Hells Angels Dark Side crew, based in Melbourne's north, and a close associate of the Victorian Nomads chapter. He is also believed to be heading up the new city outfit, which does not operate a clubhouse. Maloney, who has kept a low profile since joining the Angels, is a former boxer who once campaigned to keep the Glenroy Boxing Center for Youth Open. Lately, Maloney has been spotted on a national run wearing a vest with both Melbourne and the Sydney chapter badges, as well as a Filthy Few symbol. The Filthy Few emblem denotes a member who has committed a violent act on behalf of the club. The Hells Angels have in recent times moved to recruit more young members, particularly from Islander and Turkish backgrounds. Expert in outlaw motorcycle gangs from Queensland's University of Technology, Associate Professor Mark Locks, says the expansion is happening because Victoria's laws haven't kept up. Queensland and New South Wales have proper legislation. It's pretty much that simple. It started back when Campbell Newman brought in the first round of tough legislation in Queensland and a lot of our most violent bikies left and moved to South Australia and Victoria. At that time, bikies weren't the problem in Victoria, with police focusing their efforts on Melbourne's gangland wars. But Victoria would be unwise to be the last state or territory in Australia to introduce tougher anti-bikie laws. You want to displace them. You don't want to be the last jurisdiction in Australia to do it. Professor Locke said. You want the violent bikies to go uh, somewhere. Uh, why Melbourne? Um, because Queensland and New South Wales have tougher legislation. Pretty much that simple. You inherited a... It started back when Campbell Newman brought in the first round of tough legislation in Queensland and a lot of our most violent bikies left and moved to South Australia and Victoria. So, so what um, does tough legislation look like? Uh, the tough legislation is the anti-association legislation. So basically, Queensland, you, you can't meet with other club members, you can't show your patch. It's very restrictive movements. Now, bikies are still here, and we still have clubs, and we still have violence, but the amount of it is much, much, much lower than it was prior to the legislation coming in. So the, the new government brought in additional legislation saying they were getting rid of the, the tough family yeah, well, human stuff, but quite frankly, the, the new legislation was tougher again in many ways. Yeah, it's a place you can go, be well, a part of your club, and do what you want in the streets and without too much um, hassle from the police and authorities. 